no notice of the small faults. If you have quarrels that push you apart, may both of you have the gracious good sense to take the first step back. May you enter into the mystery which is the awareness of one another's presence, no more physical than spiritual, warm and near when you are side by side, and also warm and near when you are in separate rooms or even in distant cities. May you have happiness and may you find it making one another happy. May you have love and may you find it in loving one another. Thank you, God, for your presence here this day and for your blessings on this marriage. So I invite all of us right now to take a deep breath and hold a blessing in our hearts for this precious couple. Seeing joy ahead for them. Seeing peace and love in their hearts and in their home. May we envision a beautiful and fulfilling marriage that will take these two through the times that may be hard, feel sad, always reaching for the love that returns them to joy in the morning. This is the time for the vows. And so Ryan, I ask that you take Peggy's hand. And I ask you to listen to these questions. Ryan, do you take Peggy as your wife to share your life openly with her and to speak the truth in love to her? Do you promise to honor and tenderly care for Peggy to cherish, inspire, and encourage her fulfillment as an individual through all of the changes of your lives. I do. That's the right answer. Peggy, <laughs> <laughs> do you take Ryan as your husband to share your life openly with him and to speak the truth to him in love? And do you promise to honor and tenderly care for Ryan, to cherish, inspire, and encourage his fulfillment as an individual through all of the changes of your lives? I do. Good. Another right answer. And now we come to the ring ceremony. So may I have the rings? These rings, by their shape, are symbols of eternity. Without beginning or end, a true symbol of the love that does exist between you. They represent the spiritual love that links you spirit to spirit and soul to soul. Most of all, let these rings be a symbol of the love and commitment in your hearts that expresses in your actions together and separate. Ryan, will you take Peggy's ring and place it on her finger, holding it there and looking into her eyes. Please repeat these words to her. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of our love. As a symbol of our love. And of our vows. And of our vows. Which have made us husband and wife. Which have made us husband and wife. And now, Peggy, will you take Ryan's ring and place it on his finger? And looking into Ryan's eyes, please repeat these words to him. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of our love. As a symbol of our love. And of our vows. And of our vows. Which have made us husband and wife. Which have made us husband and wife. What a privilege it is to see two people looking into one another's eyes with so much love. And a few tears. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. And so now we do the beautiful sand ceremony that Peggy and Ryan have chosen to do. And so we move to the altar.
With the sand ceremony, we symbolize the creation of this new marriage. Peggy and Ryan, today you join your separate lives together. And these bottles of sand represent your separate lives, your separate families, separate friends. They represent all that you are and all that you'll ever be as an individual. They also represent your lives before today. And so as you begin to pour the sand into the middle jar, we see these individual containers of sand. We see the individual containers of sand will no longer exist, but will be joined together as one. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated and poured again into the individual containers, your lives also are connected forever. May you always seek to share your love and your light with each other. Nothing is easier than saying these words, and nothing is harder, as many of us can attest, to living them day by day. And so this is the challenge and also the blessing, that the words you've spoken here today will carry you through the days ahead, help you remember to be present with one another. I encourage you both to make a commitment each and every day to this marriage and to the love this marriage represents. From this day forward, you will find a special place together, a place where dreams can grow and where laughter is often heard, a safe and trusting place where tears or hurts are hugged away and secrets can be safely shared, a gentle place where words are kind and mistakes can be forgiven, a place for quiet living where each gives freely and tenderly to the other, so that your happiness is multiplied and both your hearts know deep and lasting joy. May God keep you in love with each other and may the peace of the Christ abide with you both always. And so it is. Amen. Ryan and Peggy, under the authority of the law of our land and the state of South Carolina, and most of all, <laughs> according to the law of Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you husband and wife. And as you seal this wonderful covenant with a kiss, may the force be with you. <laughs> to introduce to you for the first time Ryan and Peggy Carter, husband and wife. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.